So I'm going to try not to use any crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce or anything like that because I always do that. People always do that sort of. If you're pasta, what are you going to make? Tomato sauce, some kind of tomato sauce. So I'm not going to do that. No. Today's episode. How do you do, Winter Weavers? And blah, 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 come. So it's Monday. I'm. We're not having any shows today. So I am just at home drinking my morning juice. This is celery, I think. Yeah, celery and jalapeno. It's quite good. Uh, what else? Yes, so today, uh, no, on Wednesday, I'm going to see a preview of this play. Cat på het plåtak, Cat on a hot, hot tin roof. I really love the writer, Tennessee Williams, so I'm so looking forward to this. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm watching sort of documentaries about Tennessee Williams on YouTube, writing some, and I also have this other uh, account there where I sort of, Instagram account where I write about, well, it's dedicated to theatre, so I'm putting up sort of photos there. What else is going to happen? Well, one interesting thing. So later today, me and my friend Ulf are going to Ikea because uh, they start, they have this new line called Frequence, which is sort of mostly spotlights and music sort of, I don't know, speakers and stuff, some furniture. I think most of it might be sold out. I am going there to buy these silver bags. This holds 80 litres, so it must be enormous. Uh, I also might buy in this raincoat. I don't think anything else is of interest. I kind of like this, but I don't think I like the... I don't like the colours, and I don't like the sort of ceramic glaze on these. Is there anything else? Well, maybe some spotlights or something. I'm not very interested in, in speakers and stuff, but I haven't got place for one of those. Although that might be good. If it was in any other colour, I detest black. Well, it's time for lunch. And since I am always sort of cooking from... I, I subscribe to this vegan magazine and I try to cook everything in it, but I always get a lot of scraps. You don't... You don't... You don't use the whole bag of kale when you're cooking. So... Monday, I have decided it's that day that I'm not going to buy any ingredients. I'm not going to buy anything new or cook anything. I have to cook with the stuff I have at home. So this will be interesting. So what I need, what, what I know that I need to cook with are kale, because this will go bad in a couple of days. So I'm, these bananas, I think, are past, past the point of no return. So cooking with kale. Also be using some minced vegan, I don't know, soy mince, I guess that's the English word for it. I don't know what, I'm just going to fry it up. An onion, I'm boiling pasta water, I don't, I'm not sure what pasta to use. Probably penny. So I'm going to try not to use any crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce or anything like that, because I always do that, people always do that, sort of. If you're pasta, what are you going to make? Tomato sauce, some kind of tomato sauce. So I'm not going to do that. No. <laughs> okay, so now the penne is boiling and this is what I'm going to have. This is the sauce. There's a lot of it. I don't know. There's green peas, kale, that mince, garlic, onion. I have not put any seasoning into it, which I will. How about white truffle? People, let's call this lunch. So I realized that I got quite a few followers yesterday from my takeover on Morgan's telephone. So I want to say hello and welcome and sort of introduce myself. I'm very old. I, I'm a gay dresser. A vegan gay dresser is what I usually say. I work as a dresser at Oscar Theater, the musical Sorcerer in Himmelo. I've been working at that theatre for about 15 years as a dresser. I've been vegan for two years. I've been vegetarian for 25 years. I've been gay, I don't know, forever. 
So I live in Mr. Kranschen, 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 which is a, a, a suburb to Stockholm, which is the capital of Sweden. I don't know if I really need to explain that because I think most of the followers that are following me since yesterday are Swedish people who knows where Stockholm and Mr. Kranschen, well, they might not know what Stop Mr. Kranschen is. So now you know. If anyone did not know that Miss Macranza was one of the suburbs to Stockholm, send me a note so that I can guess how many of you did not know that. Anyway, from besides sort of doing lots and lots and lots of Instagram stories, I go to a lot, go and see a lot of shows. I do a lot of shopping, a lot of cooking. Yeah, I'm mostly about that and bright colors. So, um, yeah, if you sort of, uh, if you come here for, to see more about Morgan, you will see more about Morgan on Thursday, because that's when we have the new show. And then there will be lots and lots and lots of backstage happenings. Uh, today I'm going to Ikea. Tomorrow I'm not doing anything specific. I am writing on my theatre blog. I've got a theatre blog. And... Uh, the day after that, I am going to see a play called Cat på ett plåtak, Cat on a hot, hot Tin Roof. I'm usually much better talking that I, than I am today. I am trying to sort of be, I don't know, welcoming to the new people. So that's why I sort of stumble. You will see tomorrow I won't be this nice. Welcome, everyone. So I'm really not good at cleaning my apartment. So to conquer that problem I've I've written this I'm going to show you it's a list of things I need to do this I need to do this I need to do every week these are things I do once a month so today I have to clean the stove top I will clean the stove and fix thing block i hallen just sort of try to tidy up in the hallway which is sort of this is always a chaotic, chaotic place. I don't know. I mean, that bar there, it's supposed to be recycled. It's been like that for about a month. Anyway, so I also have, it's the second week of the month. So I also have going to change my linens in the bed. And I'm also going to clean the filter over the, the stove. What's that called? I don't know what's that called. So, thank you. Thank you. This is, I realise this is very interesting. So, you're very welcome for this. Uh, I phoned, I got a text message from my friend Ulf. He's, a, he will be arriving in about an hour. And then we will go to Ikea. And after that, or before, no, after that, we might go to Dollar Store or City Gross. Because I need to buy cleaning supplies. So people, I want you to meet my newly changed bed linens. It's very Tom of Finland, isn't it? So I just got a question from Carola, who asked me about my sort of my shelf unit in my kitchen. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to try showing you. And mind you, it's a mess. I, I haven't really found out any sort of way to do this so here goes first you go <laughs> into my kitchen i got one of those that they have in the i think they have it in big industrial kitchens sort of this sort of rolling thing sort of a wagon a trolley i think i just dump everything into that so this is i i need to plan this and execute it fantastically because it's a mess then I've got this shelving unit from Ikea. It's not called Ivar, it's called Ivar. So I've got a big one, smaller one, one in the sort of, well, one for the corner. And then I needed to have one that wasn't so high because I think the lowest one is about that high or something. And I needed something that I could, I could have in front of the uh, window, but that also, that allowed me to open up the window. So I had to sew off these 
I didn't do that good a job of it. I, you know, I should maybe sandpaper them and do something. I don't know, it works. So here are my cooking books. They're all vegan. I had this face last year, two years ago, of buying sort of vegan cookbooks everywhere I saw them in the secondhand sh shop. So, and they were about, you know, 20 Swedish crowns, so it's nothing. Here are, anyway, it's a mess and I really never find anything. I love it. Uh, but so what I have here, I'm quite proud of this. This is my recycling station, and I just bought these sort of bags from IKEA. There, I mean, I think there's like 30 Swedish crowns or something like that, called Bruderlig, and I must just put them up on their side like that, and then you can sort of. This is recycling paper, plastic. This is metal. So they're really good, and sort of the, the good thing is that you can sort of put things in and then you can sort of close them that way. There's no lid that sort of, and this makes it so much easier. You can just sort of cram things into it and then lock it. So, and these are my, I love these jars where I sort of, I, old jars that I put new labels on. And <laughs> I really haven't got any sort of, I'm planning on, oh, and this is quite good. I've taken these old olive oil bottles. I think this is a very good thing to do. Because my biggest problem with this Ivar Bukula is that it's, even though this is the sort of the, the narrowest one, it's still too deep. You sort of put stuff and it's, I wish there was some sort of, you know, some sort of, I don't know, a shelf that you can sort of put things on and then you can pull it out, like a drawer or something. I I, I do this, I keep things like this. I, I'm, this is a work in progress. But these, I can sort of, this, this, these go far enough into the shelves to be sort of economical. What else is there? Oh yes, and then I found these great things at Tiger of Sweden. No, Tiger of Copenhagen is not the, the clothing company. And you can just put stuff and sort of, you can use, use the whole shelf. So this is great. You can just put whatever you have in there. I've got wine, but I never drink wine. I got these sort of jars from Ikea. This is for bread, popcorn, wheat, buckwheat. Oh, I need to buy sugar. So I guess that's it. So I put sort of machines and stuff on top. I can't, I'm, I'm tall enough so I can reach them. That's an olive pita or sherry pita. That's something from zucchini um, pasta. That's juicer. That is something I bought. I've been looking for it. I bought it second hand. I brought it home and I put it there. It's been standing there for over a year. It's a sort of when you dry fruits and stuff. So I need to get on to that as well. But, oh, and here are my old sort of vegan magazine. I have a complete set of Vigo magazine. I'm very proud of that. I found them all on, all second hand. No, well, then I started, two years ago, I started sort of, uh, yeah, buying them. Wholesale. No, I, I, what do you call that when you get them from? Oh, the world I'm looking for in English is subscribe. I'm subscribing to them. So, people, here's my shelving unit. It's really good. I just need to have some organization. So, as you can see, there's not much room in my kitchen. I don't eat here, I eat in front of the television set. I am thinking about this set, Eva has also a table that you can sort of put in and goes out. But I think this rolling thing is better. So um, thank you so much for this very interesting and informative segment of my kitchen and my Eva shelving unit. I totally recommend it. It's really easy to sort of put together there's no screwing of any kind. So if you like screwing, don't buy this. But yeah, now I'm just waiting for Ulf so we can go to Ikea so I can buy more stuff.